What's going on guys? Uh, this video is to um, show you how to do front brakes on a Commodore. Uh, you're going to need a 19mm uh, if you've got standard lug nuts. And at that size, uh, you're going to need a 13mm. Um, I think it's a 18mm spanner. Oh, to help you get the caliper off. So you've got a 13mm top and bottom there, and there's a 17mm there that will also spin. So you need to put your spanner in there, your 13mm on there, take the caliper off, and then behind you've got two 19mm bolts there. Um, now you only need to take those out if you're changing the rotor, uh, which is what I'm doing today, uh, pads and rotors. So if you don't need to change your rotor, you don't need to worry about taking those bolts out. Just pop uh, one bolt of your caliper out, flip them up, uh, reset your uh, your pistons. Now you're going to want to, instead of needing to bleed them, you can get away with it unless you're changing your fluid. Just taking your master cylinder cap off. You've got a G-clamp in there. And we'll uh, pull them off that way. So, there up. I'll uh, progress some more and I'll get back. Right, once you've taken the 13 mils out, the 19 mils out, you'll be able to pull these apart, taking note which car, which uh, brake pad has what little locating metal on it, whatever the fancy word for it is. And so then, it's kind of like that, probably be a bit more gentle than that. Um, that's your caliper and your pads off. And so now that might be still a little, little bit stuck on. You might need to get a hammer onto that um, and get that off. Um, but yeah, pull that off, put your new one on and do it all in reverse. You'll be right to go. Um, bit of a trick with these to reset them is actually, if I can get that to sit there nicely for a second. If you use an old brake pad, all right, then when you use your G-clamp to... Um, push those pistons back in, that will keep them square. Um, don't forget to take off your, your master cylinder cap, that'll push all your brake fluid back up to your master and you won't need to bleed it. Alright, so now I've got my clamps on there, I've reset the pistons. You can use this style clamp, um, it just works, but I'd probably go with something that's at least metal. Um, I've used this style a few times before and usually once I do these to them, that's chuck them in the bin time. So I've gotten away with it this time, uh, but I would yeah definitely recommend using a, a metal G clamp from Burson's or Auto Pro or something like that. So yeah, and there we have it. Um, new rotors and pads on the front of the car. So uh, hopefully that's helped a few people out. Cheers.